right, so down this hall, I think there's some engineering. Like, we're gonna check it out and see what we find. It could be some really cool stuff, but we might be taking some guys by surprise, so let's, uh, let's just go in here and see what we got. Hey, look! Oh, well, hello there. Welcome to Mount Vernon Nazarene University, home of the Battling Cougars. Hurrah! I'm Caleb Ledford, and this is Bryce Manor. Bryce, tell them about what our engineering team is doing on this fine evening. Well, as Caleb said, I'm Bryce. We are working on a Camelback truss bridge that we built using a PASCO modeling system. Our team was tasked with building this joint structure and also tasked with calculating the actual forces on each individual member. Now, what we are supposed to theorize is that a two-pound load will be hung from one of these gusset plates. And from there, we are supposed to speculate which members had zero force or zero force applied to them, as well as the forces applied to individual members throughout the bridge. We were also tasked with designing a hanger that we would construct on a 3D printer in which to actually hang our load from. Why don't we go over and take a look at the 3D printer now? MakerBot Replicator 2 Experimental 3D Printer. Right now we're building and constructing a three-dimensional hanger which we will use to hang our weights from our, ca our Camelback truss bridge. I said, this is a camelback truss bridge, which is good because it means it doesn't need water for up to seven days. Hump day! Take a closer look at our bridge here. As you can see, we've got three loading cells placed on a vertical, a horizontal, and a diagonal force. Each one of these should be able to give us an accurate reading on the force applied at each member due to the two-pound hanger. Okay, so we start off with getting our reactant forces for the camelback truss. Then we move to our section AA, and we start off getting with, with getting four equations with four variables, so we can end up solving all four of our forces that we have with the section. And once we do that by taking the sums of the forces in the x and the y direction, and taking moments. Uh, we then use all four of the force of the equations, and we start s solving for everything in terms of the force of DC. And but doing that, we can then plug it into the forces in the x direction, and we can solve everything for DC. And once we have DC, then we can get all the other forces in the system. So here we have our finished hanger, freshly printed out of the MakerBot. Um, as you can see, we've got the box shape where we're going to add the weights under underneath. And then we've got this little pin up at the top, which fits perfectly into the slot. What you doing over there, Bryce? Well, you know, just hanging out with the hanger. Taking a look at our data, we can see that indeed our force member over here is a zero force member and that both of our other forces are negative showing that they're in compression. The uh, horizontal force displayed on the left is just over one which is what we calculated however our diagonal force member is showing a force of about half of what we expected it to be. So for the conclusion of our project we determined that we could indeed calculate mathematically the force on members of our Camelback truss bridge and they did line up with the data that we found, except for the diagonal force member. Bryce, what do you think about that? The diagonal force member was a bit tricky. We came up with almost an exact half amount as what we postulated that the magnitude would be. We did assume that all of our connections were actually pin connections. However, those pin connections on our actual bridge are connected to gusset plates. These gusset plates could be distributing the load in a way that we did not foresee when we did the original calculations, and therefore we are concluding that that would be the uh, attribution to our error. 
In conclusion, we were able to use the knowledge that we gained over the past semester in statics and mechanics to calculate force member loads on a joint construction.